October the 27th, 2025. Guys, you're looking at the newest images coming in over the satellites uh, over the Caribbean. What you got is a 165 mile per storm, or that's what it was a few minutes ago, well over the 156 it takes to become a Cat 5. Now, I'm not sure how hard it is to see this blue outline right there. That's Jamaica, and then you have Cuba here. Now, something I've noticed throughout the day, and as we, I've kind of backed it up from the beginning of light this morning until now, we saw it take a uh, dip to the south this morning. Guys, remember that? And it almost looked like it was going to loop back in this direction. And that's what, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the Navy model was also showing. But now it looks like it's taken a turn back to the northwest. Now, one thing that's done, we know there's been a lot of prayers coming up for Jamaica and Cuba. I know just looking at the comments and on BP Earth Watch on YouTube. But uh, this thing, the further it goes or further it dips to the south and the more it turns to your west, northwest, then that gives it uh, the island more of a chance not to take a uh, direct hit across the center. And that's kind of your worst case scenario, but it very well could skate the western tip. We're not sure how hard the curve is going to come. We're going to look at the spaghetti models. But uh, again, a lot of people are hoping and praying that you guys uh, don't take this direct hit from 165 mile per hour storm. That's sustained winds, not your gust. Now, Jamaica, I know you've been getting wind and rain for a couple of days, but just look at this. This is your latest right up to the day. It's 1.47 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S. You're, what, an hour or so ahead of us. But um, this, again, is super strong, but it's in a tight ball. And this outer band of where the hurricane force winds have really... Um, spared Jamaica. Now you're getting some outburst and you dang sure don't want to get anywhere in the water or swimming or anything like that. And um, there's been cameras going down from different places looking at the Jamaica webcams. But if, again, the further this thing moves to the north and northwest, you the worst winds will be in the black circle. Now tropical storm force winds are out on top of you. You are in hurricane warnings. I'm just trying to be as optimistic as I can so you guys keep thinking positive. They went, we went back, it was in the 1860s and looked at the records and never anything over a cat four for Jamaica. That, and nothing like this, a cat, uh, like a 165 mile per hour cat five. And this thing is moving so slow that the damage will be extended, um, much, it will be, um, much more severe because the longer it sits on top of you, it's like a big grinder. It's grinding everything away. And uh, remember Dorian that got into the Bahamas a few years ago, 200 mile per hour wind sat there for a few days. And that may have been very well a battle of man against nature. And so is that what we're seeing here? I mean, they don't, it, I've never seen one do this. I don't really know what to say other than this thing it should be moving very fast at this point in whatever forward direction it's going to take. Something is stopping it. These storms naturally turn to the north or upward in this case. And when they start to hit land, you'll see that curve to the right or to the north. Even um, you can see it much easier because as it come across the island or if you come up on land on the mainland with the edge of a hurricane, that's going to make it spin in that direction, just like a tire. And so it's going to want to try to turn north. Well, something's stopping it from doing it right now. And all that it is happening is that the speed is increasing and intensifying. The longer it sets there in that warm water, the more positive it is for cooling the earth. But it's going to be a disaster. Now, if it, when it goes across Cuba in the earlier updates, it looked like it, excuse me, when it goes across Jamaica towards Cuba, in the early updates, it looked like it was pretty much going to dead center uh, the island of Jamaica. Now, that would be bad for Jamaica, but in that forecast, it went from a Cat 5 to a Cat 3 before it got very far inland into Cuba itself. Now, that's not, I'm not saying, Jamaica, you want to be the uh, brick wall in front of the storm, but that may be a, what happens. But again, the further that it moves to the left or to the northwest before it makes the northerly uh, hard turn, the better off you guys will be.
Now, before we go to the models, I'm going to back the satellites out so we get a real good look at northern Mexico and the southeast. These storms that you're seeing here, they came through our area and they were rough, guys. We had two tornadoes down along the coast, Gaucher and I think it was, and possibly it was, uh, maybe Bluxy or Pass Christiana, I can't remember. There was no injuries reported. There were some uh, house damages done. Uh, one picture I saw was a Mexican restaurant. Had some pretty good damage to it, but no casualties. And I didn't see any reports of major injuries. But to, this storm was very violent. So what's going to happen when you've got Melissa about to turn north and go up through the uh, through the Bahamas, guys, is you, it's going to clash somewhere with this storm. So that I don't know how that will affect what we're seeing moving north. It will probably pull a little more moisture into Melissa. But right now, you guys in Florida, this has been some very strong winds and rain. Again, we got two tornadoes on the coast this morning. Let's look at the uh, infrared for a moment while we're here. Now, you're seeing your first outer bands right there in the center area of the storm and you can see it even on the natural view without the infrared on this is a very powerful halloween storm coming in and again this storm, this is very uh strong storms in here but this much at least is offshore but it got rough last night so you guys in these areas make sure you're ready notice the entire length of florida you're starting to get these offshore storms popping off and being pulled across florida now so things are going to start to pop up on you and by the time that kind of gets clear and out of the way you we're going to have to be watching very closely what happens to melissa again this is an impressive view and guys the latest from fox is showing we are now at 175 mile per hour sustained winds look at that check that's 2 p.m central time so that's uh, it's going that's about an hour old but here's a major problem west northwest like we said starting to move up and to the left but only at three miles per hour and that's why we're seeing the rapid strengthening now it's already at, uh 10 miles above guys the 165 predicted by tonight at 8 p.m and the markings before this were 160 down here but again, it looks like it's very close now to making that turn. And it, if it does this, the center of it does look, and it's kind of hard to see. I know we'll look at the uh, National Hurricane Center, but it is doing what I was thinking, maybe getting that western tip of Jamaica as far as the center of circulation. But again, you got hurricane force winds going out in all directions. Now, this is 30 minutes old and uh, it's the updated spaghetti model now the light green which is the canadian model this line to the most west or to the left is showing the eye of the storm may be going right off the tip of jamaica now that's going to put the northeast quadrant guys on top of you but that's really better than the eye going across now what now as far as cuba that's not your best case scenario because if this thing were to go across the entire island, the entire eye of it, then you would get that predicted slowdown to a Cat 3 by the time it comes ashore. Very close to Guantanamo Bay again. Notice that. Your other models are more centered. Let's see what the Navy is doing on their uh, model. Now, from the U.S. Navy, their model. And it shows a pretty good lick on the island of Jamaica there. But now it's not in the spaghetti models. It hadn't been for the last few days. It kind of gets like the western half, not the western tip like we're seeing the Canadian model. Now that would be good for Cuba because it's going to slow it down more. Either way, Cuba's going to get it and the southern Bahamas are going to get it. And look right here is Bermuda. Let's watch that dot very close. And this will change over the next day or two. Just depends on where they end up letting this high pressure zone set in place. But again, it looks like mainland USA is going to be fine. Let's see about how far, but you're going to have some winds, rip current, storm watches, uh, small craft warnings, things like, like that. And possibly the storms coming across here as all this is going on is going to be more of a problem. The ones that we just looked at on satellite imaging, you see here and watch that storm dips through coming in so florida you keep an eye on that 
I'm not quite sure what's up with the CMC and the deal they got with the Navy, but the CMC is putting up spaghetti models. The Navy's not, and the Navy's putting up these models in GFS, if you notice, global forecast system, and then um, Canada's not. Maybe it's in the in our funding bills. Who knows? By the way, I've got a quick update coming up not long after this. Today was the deadline in Texas and many other states. If the uh, resolution or the bill with the continuing resolution doesn't pass the Senate, today ended the day that uh, any type of um, EBT, SNAP, or any of the things in Texas, I think there's a couple other names there, and I'll have that in the report coming up. But that ends today. In other words, any renewals for the money to go in November ended today. If the budget wasn't done, they're not going to have time to put it in. And guys, if you don't think that the purge video I did a few good days ago that I wasn't serious, you're sadly, sadly mistaken. So you better pay very close attention to that one and the update coming up. Um, are you going to get caught off guard if you're not careful? Now let's move to this video. This is the global forecast system. Notice it's south of Jamaica right there. Let's step it through a little slower right there. It's catching the western tip according to the global forecast system and cutting back, missing Guantanamo Bay as far as the center of circulation. Going through the southern Bahamas, here is Bermuda right there, that dot. Guys, and let's take one last look at the storm going back. This is uh, updated and here's the very current images. Here is Jamaica right there. You won't see a more perfect eye wall. It would be hard to beat this one, guys. And your colors are changing as you get up in altitude. But in the, again, the further it can move west, the better off Jamaica is. So somewhere, but it looks like between central Jamaica and the western tip, you're going to have the eye wall coming through that area. And with a storm this big, and you can see, guys, right here, this is not in black, but you can see where the hurricane force winds are. So they're coming out a good distance. So even with the, just the tip getting hit, as in the Canadian model, you've got several miles of hurricane force winds. Of course, the strongest are in the center. Guys, and here's a little from windy.com. One of the links on our website, here's the street, nine degrees. Right now, 152 knots, very strong, powerful storm. They're showing let's see if I center going over the western half of Jamaica. Seeing that, I mean, you're, a lot of the area is going to be morning five at 7 a.m. in the morning. Okay, 140 knots, not mild. Right now, 152. That's amazing, 175 knots. And so it's showing the center crossing just east of Black River, cutting across Albert Town re-entering uh, the ocean around Discovery Bay. Now, if this track holds true, Mandeville, Alligator Pond, Maypen, Linstead, Oco Rios, you're in the northeast quadrant. And if we back it out now, that's going to take a lot out of the storm, but there's still a lot of power, and it shows it coming right here. This would be de Cuba and a cat too, but this very likely we'll see but again, the two is not showing up Wednesday at 7 a.m. And so we got one coming in Jamaica in the morning. Again, this, the category two is after it passes the land. Guys, we're watching this. You watch it. I'm going to try to get that update up about to happen because of the Democrats refusing to sign off on the spending bill. It's important for several reasons. We'll go through that. Be safe.